All right, everyone. So when I get up and start my day every day after I, you know, make my wife breakfast, have our coffee and stuff, the first thing I do is change the prices on every single one of my listings, all of them, no matter if it's on my second account, first account, everything. So I want to just walk you through step by step my process on what I do every single day, seven days a week on vacation or not. <laughs> this is what I do. Um, so I got up my, my second eBay account pulled up here. And what you want to do first is just go up to your listings here and active, click on the active listings and it pulls up your, uh, your act, manage active listings page here. It has all kinds of categories and options here to choose from and some quick filters as well. If you want to promote your listings, send offers, all that good stuff. We're, not, we're going to ignore all that for now. And what I'm going to do first, because I break mine up into two separate parts. The first part we're going to focus on is items $25 or more. And you may be asking, well, how do I you know, filter those out? It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward, but there's so many options that you may not have known that you can even do this. So first off, this first box here that says item title, do the drop down and click current price and go to the second box and go to greater than and simple as putting in $25 and search. So that will search your listings of items that are $25 or higher. And once that is done on my second account here, I have 63 listings that are $25 or higher, higher. Don't worry about clicking any of the boxes. Just go to this edit drop down box and edit all 63 listings. And this may take a second. It may not <laughs> a lot of times and it may throw errors. Uh, eBay is not, you know, as you well know, if you sell on eBay, sometimes the technology is eh, a little bit shaky, but it will get there. This time it popped up just perfectly. So it brings up our mass editing box, the edit listing 63 listings. So once you're here, the first thing you want to do is just select them all. That's that top check box that selects all 63 listings. And the second thing you want to do this edit fields box, just click on it and go to price quantity or best offer. And that'll bring up another box. Okay. And it has several options in this box. Buy it now price, best offer, quantity. A lot of things you can change or tinker in this stuff, but we're just focusing on price. So buy it now price. We're going to decrease by because we are lowering the price on all these listings. And you can do an amount or a percentage. I always do a percentage on $25 or over. I do half a percent, 0.5. And do not go below. $24.99. And I'll clarify why I do that once we do our second group of listings. So we got decreased by 0.5%, but do not go below $24.99. And save and close. So this may take a second as well, you know, more than a second. Sometimes it takes get hung up and you have to refresh and do all kinds of crazy stuff. But uh, hopefully this will go seamlessly. Okay, so now it's all change and everything but you do have to click submit changes don't x out of the the window yet you have to submit changes confirm and submit and this is usually takes the longest uh, especially if there's a lot of listings and you'll see this when we transition over to our main account when i'm changing like 500 listings uh, this part may take a minute or two but since there's only 63 it was relatively quick click ok and that's it. That is done. Your prices on $25 or more items have been decreased by half a percent. All of them, all 63 are listed. Okay. So now it automatically defaulted us back to our manage active listing page, but we're still filtered. You know, we still have the current price greater than 25 selected. So you see it's the 63 listings. Okay. So now I want to alter the price on the items that are $24.99 and below. So what do you do? Well, first thing you will do is you hit reset and that'll just populate everything back up again, all 273 listings, but we don't want to change those ones. We just changed to 63. So what do we do? We go to item title, current price again. We're good this time. Instead of greater than we're going to do less than 24.99 in search. So now we're doing the lower cost items, the items that are $24.99 and below, which will be the majority of the listings because, you know, got a lot of stuff in there. 
So again, we have uh, 209 items total of the quantity, so, but we have 169 listings. So we'll go to edit all 169 listings. And this one, since there's a lot more listings, may take a little bit longer to process. The more listings you try to edit or alter, the longer it's going to take. It's just the way eBay works, period. But hopefully this won't take too terribly long. Hopefully just, you know, 10, 20 seconds maybe. Like I said, sometimes it does get hung up and you have to like just refresh it or start all over again. There we go. Okay, so it'll pop all up. So it has all 100 and... Well, this is, this says 166 listings, so I don't know why it did that. We're not worried about that. It got the majority of them. So again, select them all. That's that top checkbox. Edit fields and price quantity best offer. So again, we're going to go to the buy it now price and decrease by. And this is a place if you want to increase listings that you do the same exact process if you want to increase the price of your listings so for example if you're going to say go shift from calculated shipping to offering free shipping and you want to increase your prices on all of them well this is where you do that as well you would just do increase by and if you want to do a flat amount or a percentage same process but we're listing we're uh, decreasing our prices again we're going to do a percentage instead of amount and on our since these are cheap items, we're going to decrease the price by just 0.1%. And that may, that's just a few cents, but it shows eBay and it shows eBay's algorithm that you are actively tinkering with your prices, actively editing and doing stuff. So it, uh, I think it does something behind the scenes in their uh, algorithm processing. Uh, but don't go below. We're not really worried about that because, you know, uh, we do offer free shipping. That is the only concern. Like if you have items that are down and down and down, it gets down to literally a penny and no one has bought it. So I'm not worried about that for now, but you can do it like a don't go below $9.99. See? So let's go ahead and just do that. Just don't go below $9.99. Since we offer free shipping, that's probably a wise thing to do. So uh, save and close. And it will process the listings. And like I said, again, this may take a second. <laughs> so we'll since when that since that is processing, uh, we will go ahead and go over to, oh, it popped up there. I was about to go over to our main account and start the process over on that account. But since this is almost complete, we'll hang here with it. And this is something I've noticed too. Sometimes it'll get hung up on that last little bit, it'll, but this time it did process through, but we want to submit changes and see right here it says two of your listings have errors and cannot be submitted you can go in and see what those errors are but sometimes i can't even figure out what those errors are but i'm not really concerned with it because it's, it's only two listings they didn't get changed by 0.1 percent i'm not really worried about it so i'm going ahead if you go ahead and click confirm and submit it'll just process the 167 and it'll ignore those two items with errors and that is fine with me so confirm and submit and again this may take a second so while that's processing, oh, it's going, that's good. While that's processing, I'll go over here to our main account and listings inactive. Okay, so we have 692 items listed on our main account. I was up to almost a thousand, but didn't, didn't, then didn't list anything for several months, but I've been working on that, we get that back up to a thousand. Again, same process over here. Uh, we're going to decrease the items in the same categories over $25, under $25, essentially. So current price greater than $25. And search. So that'll bring up 177 items with a quantity of 213. So we want to edit, edit all 177 listings. And we're going to swap back over here and check our other one. So this one did it. See, it said two listings did not update. That's fine. They have some little error. Not a big deal. 167 listings were submitted successfully. Do not hit the fix errors. I mean, you can if you want to try to fix the errors on the two items, but I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to hit OK. And that's it. Our prices on almost all of our listings, 233 items, are changed. 
So now let's go back to our main account. The items have populated. We're going to select all the items, which is the top checkbox. Edit fields. Price quantity best offer. We're going to decrease the price by a percent of 0.5%. Do not go below $24.99. Save and close. And that probably will take a second to process just like over here. So now all those items over here have been, you know, the price has been changed by a little bit. So say these jeans were at $24.99. Now they're at $24.91, probably after a few changes. So, yep, it just changes those cheap stuff by a few pennies, but it's still a change. So here's a good example of it taking a while. It's 177 listings, and this may take a second. But there it goes. It didn't take a, that long. Submit changes. Confirm and submit. Okay. See how long that takes. I wish to ask you. Which had a stopwatch here. Maybe I'll do on my phone. I should do a stopwatch. Oh, that didn't take long at all. 177 listings were success submitted successfully. No errors. Fantastic. Okay, so go back out to our active listings, 692 active listings, and do the same process as we did on the other account. We're going to reset. So it brings up all of our listings again. And we're going to go to current price. Less than. $24.99 and search and that'll bring up a lot of listings <laughs> 514 listings with 1,617 quantities I have a few listings that have massive quantities like 100 of an item or 200 of an item that's why there's that huge discrepancy there this will only let you edit 500 items at a time so, but I'm not super concerned with 14 items left over. I will go back later after the video and lower the price on those 14 items. So I'm not keeping you guys around for that. So we're going to go to edit listings one through 500. Cause the one through five, the 500 listings is going to take a second more than likely. I've got one of 500. <laughs> So there's all kinds in, in that act, in that active listing box, there's all kinds of little tools and items where you can look stuff up or tinker with stuff or tinker with your listings. Uh, if you need to put, you know, say you've listed items all day and you need to go back and inventory those, whatever your numbering system is, you can go in and uh, in the quick view and change the uh, custom SKU spot, which is where I put my uh, inventory. Okay, so these are populated. We're going to select them all again. Top check box. Price quantity best offer. Decrease by percent. 0.1 percent. Because these are our under $25 items. Don't go below $9.99. Save and close. And please wait. This may take a few minutes. And with 500 items, it probably will take a minute or so. I mean, I, I found that Earlier in the day when there's not a lot of people active on eBay, this gets processed quicker, which is why it's one of the first things I do in the morning is I edit all these listings because it usually goes quicker than if you say you wait till the afternoon when there's a lot of people on eBay, there's a lot of people listing, there's a lot of people editing, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, we're already at 471 of 500 listings processed and hopefully the other 29 just come through. I'm kind of torn, like some, like I said, sometimes this will get hung up and you just have to cancel it and redo it. But uh, hopefully for the seamlessness of the video, there it goes, it populated. So um, see so up here, it has our errors. Your account or list or listing is a violation of one or eBay policies. This has been doing this forever on this one listing and I'm not in violation of any policy or anything. I've actually called eBay about this listing They and they have no idea why it's throwing this error. So I just ignore it. And then we have another error on two items. I'm not really worried about that. So we're going to submit our changes. And here's our errors, our three listings. And we're going to confirm and submit. I almost wish there was a more streamlined process because if you notice, there's like five or six steps to do this. You got to 
submit changes, confirm and submit. Okay. You know, there's, it, they take what should be a one or two step process and it takes four or five steps, but it's what we're working with. So that's what we have to do. Right. Okay. So there we go. We got 326 of 497 listings submitted because you'd think after this it would be done, but then we got to hit a button again. And that's what happens sometimes too. Like it'll do a big chunk of them and then get hung up, but don't automatically assume it's hung up and do anything because it may just take a second. See like that, it popped up. Four listings did not update. 496 were successfully submitted and still you have to hit okay. And it'll take us back out to the active items pages. So that is it. That is what I do every single day. I change the price on every single one of my listings. If you guys have any questions, uh, please hit me up. I did publish a, uh, a memberships page this morning on our YouTube channel. So please consider that $1.99, $4.99, $9.99 uh, options. I have started doing that in lieu of Patreon to just keep everything in one place. So I did a little intro video. So please check that out and join. And, uh, you know, it helps support the channel, helps me, uh, take time out of my day to create and edit these videos. So if you do that, we'd greatly appreciate it, but I hope you learned something today. Uh, please comment, like subscribe, hit the bell, and we will see you again on the next video.